All right, I got my big pot here. I'm gonna add some oil. Okay, we're gonna season this real good. The back side more so, because the front we're gonna use for the cracklings. Okay, so we're not gonna season this one as much as the other one because we're gonna use those for the cracklings and we don't want them to get too, too salty. set this is nice and hot I'm gonna put these in skin side down yeah. all right you can smell when they were about ready to flip check it out that's what you want it to look like Guys, let's check out the other side. Oh yeah. That's how we want it. Now we're going to take these out and set them aside. Keep them skin side up though. We want to keep the skin as crispy as possible. You see all that? We're gonna get all that stuff scraped off with our onion and bell pepper. We're gonna put that in. All right, we're gonna turn these down, okay? We want it to go low. We don't wanna cook these too fast. And we're gonna get all that stuff off. Now we want to cook this a little bit on low. Okay, so we don't want the crunch on this. We just want to cook this all the way down. And we want to make sure that we're stirring this on occasion too, because we don't want to make sure that it gets an even cook. Okay, let's keep stirring it. All right, so this has been cooking for a while. That's what it looks like. All right, next we're going to put in our Liam Perrins, Worcestershire, and some Louisiana hot sauce. I just do a couple of boom, boom, booms. Like this, sprinkle some of it around. You can hear it. All right, now let's throw in our bouillon cubes, our bouillon cubes. And I got a bunch of water. I got a whole bunch of water in here. Not all of it. Let's turn the heat up. I want to bring this back. Bring this. Let's get these uh, bouillon cubes dissolved. Okay. I chop them up a bit. I prefer the bouillon cubes because. They, uh, I like the flavor of them and they have the, the little bit of cornstarch to it. So it makes it a little thicker. I like my gravy a little thicker. All right, but we want to make sure we take off before we put the chicken in. I'll do this with one hand here. We want to take off the skin. See, we want to keep that skin for later. I have yet to meet anybody who likes, or should I say prefers, soggy chicken skin to crispy chicken skin. Okay, take all this off. I let it cool off for a while first. 
salt. There we go. There's my chicken skins. Now we're gonna add our, we're gonna put these breast side down, okay? That has most of the meat on it and we want that cooking first. And we're gonna be flipping these as we go. Boom, there we go. All right, and then I have my garlic here. Let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, and then I, put in, I don't like cooking the garlic with everything else because I, uh, I don't want to risk burning that garlic and getting that bitter flavor. I'm going to mix that around. Okay. And then I'm going to put and cover the rest of it with water. It's about chicken thighs are covered. And we can uh, put the heat up a little bit. Let's see. Let's put it on medium. We want to bring that to a boil. Yep, we want that to boil like that for a long time. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. You got, I would say flip it every 15, 20 minutes because we want to even cook. But uh, it's going to take probably over an hour to let that cook down and break that meat up. It's looking good. All right, this is what it looks like. If it starts drying up a little bit, don't be scared to add a little water. Depending on how much time you have. Oh yeah, you see it starting to break apart? That means it's getting good and done. All right, we are going to broil these chicken skins and I put them skin side down. But I wanna get this underside, so I wanna get them nice and crispy because that's what we're gonna top our sticky chicken with. Let's put them in. About two minutes, and that's about it. Keep an eye on them real tight. All right, that's about it, guys. Maybe a little overcooked. If your wife doesn't like the burnt ends like mine, cut them off. These guys, we'll put them with that. And there you have it, Cajun sticky chicken topped with cracklins. So we like to serve it with green onions and we like to plate it with sliced tomatoes and cucumbers with just some salt and pepper. I hope you enjoy it.